All right, let's check the markets. Each We do that each and every morning here on the Big 550 KTRS. Good morning, Scott Crothers. All right, good. We uh, had a little bit of a down day on uh, Friday. What was the story? Sure, we did. Uh, Friday, the Dow was down 31 points, close to 20,547. Now, it was a light day before the weekend, and the French elections had investors in a wait-and-see mode. Telecom was the worst sector of the day, and energy was weak also as oil sold off over 2% to 49.62. The yield on the 10-year U.S. Treasury continued to slide, closing at 2.237%. So not too bad. All right, that's one story. And then uh, we've got, um, let's go with some company news, Benton Dickinson. Who are they? Uh, Benton Dickinson is buying C.R. Bar, uh, Baird for $24 billion. Both are medical supply companies based in New Jersey, and they think they can save $300 million a year in cost savings from the merger. It yields a 25% premium over Friday's close. We expect to see more consolidating in the health care sector going forward. All right. Uh, what are we hearing about mortgage rates? Now, mortgage rates fell below 4% for the first time since November. Uh, they hit 4.3% in mid-March, but a reverse course as the yield on the 10-year U.S. Treasury keeps falling. With global uncertainty and geopolitical issues rising, investors are buying the 10-year and this pushes the yield down, which in turn pushes, uh, pushes mortgage rates down. So, All right. Uh, nice to hear to see that it's under four as it fluctuates right around there. Uh, what are we hearing from uh, Panera Bread, a.k.a. St. Louis Bread Company? Right. Good news out of Panera Bread. They're hiring 10,000 people by the end of the year. This is for the delivery service, which Panera plans to have in 40% of their stores by the end of the year. Delivery was in 15% of their, of their 2,030 stores at the end of last year. Uh, delivery adds about 5,000 a week in sales. 75% of the new hires will, will be to drive the other 25% to make the food. Hmm. All right, good. And then uh, markets today? <laughs> well, today the, the Dow looks up over 200 points. It's a huge week for earnings, plus we get a look at the housing market durable goods and the first look at first quarter GDP. So a great start to the week, at least as it appears right now in the future. All right. Scott Crothers with Stephen Nicholas. Have yourself a good day. Thanks for checking in. We'll do it all again tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks. All right. 640 here. Big